a limestone waterfalls coming out. I can see the aquascape spillway up there at the top that kind of starts it. Pretty unique design with this limestone. So right up there, you can see the spillway. You just barely make it out in there. So basalt rocks, natural stone that uh, actually comes out of the ground looking like this or out of the mountain looking like that. So if you're driving down the road here, and you come up on these beautiful aspen trees, and then you see that. What's the story here, guys? What was the inspiration to get a waterfall in your backyard? Sounded like a good idea. <laughs> oh, look at this, see? I love discovering stuff, so what a cool bridge. Not something that you would normally see in a residential setting. It looks like a commercial setting with this. <laughs> Hey, I'm entering Nebraska. I think that is the Missouri River, and I have never been to this area of the country, so this is fun. For me, there's places that I haven't been. I'm like the everywhere man, but there are places that I haven't been, so very excited meeting a uh, customer that I really don't know very well, and looking full forward to vlogging and showcasing. No, I'm in Sioux, oh, Sioux City, Nebraska. I thought it was Sioux City, Iowa. This is why you travel. You learn things, right? I'm Greg Whitsack, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitsack, the Pond Guy. And I get to showcase how people live the aquascape lifestyle all over the world, including Sioux City, Nebraska, that I thought was Sioux City, Iowa. Let's go check out some more beautiful aquascape water features. I love my job. Look at this beautiful house. And boys, we're actually in South Dakota. We are. This is my first time ever to South Dakota. I travel everywhere, but I was confused a little bit this morning because I was in Sioux City, Iowa, then South Sioux City, Nebraska. Now I figured it out, okay. So we have Doyle, the founder and owner of the business and his longest and oldest <laughs> teammate, Marty. And did you work on this project, Marty? Yes. Okay, oh, it's here and here. There's oh, multiple yeah. ones, okay. Oh yeah. This is gorgeous, so this is it. I love this house. It is a gorgeous house. So how long ago did you guys create this? Early 2000s. Yeah. Wow, so it's been here for a while. Yeah. yeah. So you've got a waterfall, it's basically that the first thing they see when they're coming park their cars is this waterfall that greets them, huh? Yep. Was that the idea or this Definitely. about putting it in over yep. here? It was that and something from the street before all this all grew in, you could really see Oh yeah. You could have birch trees down here. These are aspen. Oh, these are aspen yep. trees. These are aspen. Beautiful. Are we what, zone five? Okay, so we got a beautiful, fully grown in, pondless water feature. Oh, I see how it continues to go down this way. Recirculating area down here with aqua blocks. I could see the snorkel. Wow, is that gorgeous. Oh, now I understand. So you see it from the driveway and you also see it from the street curb appeal. I see these things at the same time that you guys see these things too. So if you're driving down the road here, and you come up on these beautiful aspen trees, and then you see that. So landscaping completely makes or breaks a job, and I love creeping junipers because you got year-round color. Yeah, and we usually leave this run as long as we can. Right, probably all the way till December in zone oh, yeah. five. I love that cool stone that put up in there. So Marty, were you physically on this job? Yes, our team. It yeah, wasn't yeah. Just me. <laughs> well, I love it. I love where it starts. It just recirculates through all the way down. And then what's the story over here with these giant basalts? That's probably as big a basalt as I've featured on my channel. So when this house was here, then they added the garage later. There was a big, huge ditch right here and it all got filled in. So we're like, hey, let's do a bridge to the pool area. Nice. Oh, oh I see the bridge. I didn't even see yeah. that. That was where the gully was, you said. Yeah. We actually built the bridge and then we're like, hey, let's do a water feature here and look like you're crossing the stream. Well, they are obviously water loving people.
Boy, it just keeps going on. You got a little pondless here as well, huh? Yeah. Oh, look at this. See, I love discovering stuff. So what a cool bridge. Not something that you would normally see in a residential setting. It looks like a commercial setting with this. So is this like a guest house over here? Yes. Okay. And drive. So you just have a waterfall spillway over here, a waterfall spillway over there. These giant basalt columns. How much do you think those weigh? They were probably 2,000 pounds. They were monsters to set in there. We actually poured a footing underneath them to support them. Yeah, yeah. And then line, put our liner in and then set the rocks on there. It was a fun project. The tree that's there behind it was here, so we had to work around that. Yeah, yeah. We had built a water feature here to start with, and then we redid it uh -huh. because some of our stones started to deteriorate after about five to ten so years. did you build the two water features at the same time we did yeah. okay and then this is phase or part two on this one yeah so basically you've got three phases that yeah. you built which is so typical water loving people love water big bigger biggest good better best i always say is how people take their water feature journey but this is so unique i was not expecting to see this but look at those columns so basalt rocks natural stone that uh, actually comes out of the ground looking like this or out of the mountain looking like that but very unique and then just a cool design with this bridge going over to an awesome pool great outdoor living area these people must be big entertainers So you started working with this customer in your first year of business, 96? Yep. Well, it would have been 97. It would have been the second year. Okay. This, the next but this is one of your big yeah. first customers. Yeah. Like I said, it looks like a commercial setting with this. Really cool. I'm going to go under the bridge here. So today is your 25th anniversary in business. It is. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, like we were talking about last night, there is nothing you could put in a property that will make more of an impact than a decorative water feature. So these customers obviously love living the aquascape lifestyle. They do. All right, off to the next stop. All right. So this looks like a newer house. It is, about three years ago, Marty. Yes. Marty, we're back in Iowa now? Yeah, we're in Sioux City, Iowa. This is like a corner of like four states, huh? Three. Oh. South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. All right. And what did we build here? We built a pondless water feature here. Pretty recently, I'm guessing, since yeah, it's three years old. Three years. Yeah. Okay. How you doing, oh, sir? Good. I'm the pond guy, Greg. How you doing? You're a Hawkeye fan, huh? Absolutely. Okay. You're a Hawkeye fan too, aren't you? I'm a Husker fan. Ah, you He's should be. an Ohio State fan. You should be a Hawkeye fan. I think you're like, what, 12th now? They beat Wisconsin pretty handily. Yeah. And Nebraska lost to Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at this. A limestone waterfalls coming out. I can see the Aquascape spillway up there at the top that kind of starts it. Pretty unique design with this limestone. So right up there, you can see the spillway. You just barely make it out in there. That's where the water starts and that diffuses the water. What's the story here, guys? What was the inspiration to get a waterfall in your backyard? Sounded like a good idea. <laughs> it was a mud hole before. Okay, and you had a slope facing the yard. And, and you... we wanted to put in a wall. And I think this guy had the idea, why don't you do a waterfall? And to be honest, they yes. did a crummy one. And then this guy came back and redid it. What do you mean they did a crummy one? The it's... first one that got built was not our ideal project. Let's okay. So Marty wasn't on it. No, he was not no, on. That employee is no longer here. Okay, so you came back and rebuilt it. Yes. It is some technical to learn how to build these things. It's art. Yeah, it is. And this is a unique design with limestone that you ended up using for yes. this. And that's what he did is incorporated the limestone so it all it all blended in with the wall. Basically, like he said, it was built originally, so we came in. That was done late in the fall. We came in in the spring. I I basically took it all apart and then we just started over. The basin was there. The liner was there. Pulled it all the liner back. We graded it and started just placing our rocks to incorporate the water feature into the wall. Okay, looks great. That's a big limestone wall. <laughs> you got a lot of rocks there. 
Whenever a yard has a slope, it just screams, build me a waterfalls. And that sound coming to the house, you hear the neighborhood out here, but when you're standing down there next to that waterfalls, you don't hear the neighborhood behind it. If you have a slope and you're interested in having a waterfalls built, check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor in your area. And if you don't have a slope, we'll build you one. I love my job.